What's up guys and welcome back to another product review video. If you guys haven't already considered subscribing, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell image to get notified of my next videos. I bet you guys heard about the Fluctuator. It's a fairly new product on the market that's designed to keep your hands and the flux that you use on copper pipes separate. In other words, the Fluctuator is a flux dispenser that dispenses the right amount of flux for both half inch and three quarter inch pipes while keeping everything enclosed and free of contaminants. So what's all the hype? Well, if you're a residential or commercial plumber that does a lot of copper piping, whether it's for bathroom rough-ins or mechanical rooms, applying flux to your pipes will always be something that needs to be done. Now, you could use the old school method that's much used in the industry, such as opening the jar's lid and using a cheap brush to get the flux, otherwise known as paste, onto your piping. Doing this in this fashion has many downsides to it. Number one is the fact that your jar's lid is opened and ready to receive any contaminants that could potentially fall into it such as water, job site dust or even small tools which are quite frustrating and time consuming to clean afterwards. You wouldn't want to use a flux with these contaminants as they could make your joint leak to say the least. Number two is the fact that the cheap brushes that are most often supplied by plumbing stores to apply the flux are normally made in China and are very cheap. The small bristles break down after a short amount of time and get mixed up with the flux, once again contaminating it. This has been a problem in the plumbing industry for a while now and the fluctuator solves this issue by keeping everything enclosed and so in a very neat manner. So here it is out of the box. It comes disassembled in the package so let's assemble it together. The first thing you need to do is to remove the protective cap on the refill. Then screw the refill onto the head until it's nice and tight and it's assembled and ready to be used. The fluctuator is equipped with a rotating dial at the bottom which has two uses, one to dispense and the other as a foot to hold the device upright when not using it. The body is made of a clear solid plastic which indicates when you're close to needing a new refill. At the top is the actual dispensing head on one side and a flux applicator brush on the other. The applicator is made for hard to reach areas where the tool can't reach such as this. It's also used for fluxing inside of fittings if needed. Let's examine the dispensing head to see how it works. The first thing you'll notice is a screw-on protective cap, which once again is there to prevent contaminants from mixing with the flux when not in use and could be stored here when the tool is in use. The model I have here is a dual head, which means it could do half inch or 15 millimeter and three quarter inch or 22 millimeter, which is good seeing most rough ins are mainly composed of these two. As the dial is turned, the flux is pushed through the four nozzles and then is ready to be used. All you have to do is insert the pipe, rotate a few turns and you'll have a perfectly fluxed pipe. A lot of newcomers in the field will tend to apply too much paste when soldering and for big businesses, this could get quite costly in the long run. This tool removes that possibility from the equation by dispensing the right amount of flux every time, saving you money. Each refill has approximately 500 uses which is great when doing big jobs. Another positive aspect of the fluctuator is the fact that you'll always have flux with you in your toolbox. On bigger job sites such as high rise buildings, other workers may be using all the available flux, leaving you empty handed and slowing down your productivity. The only negative things I could say about the fluctuator is that the applicator brush could be improved as it's a bit small and if dropped kind of goes against what it's designed to do which is to keep the contaminants and flux two separate things. And secondly, to have the dispensing head accommodate a one inch pipe as there isn't much missing. I'm sure the makers will take this into consideration and try to improve the product in the near future. But overall, this product is innovative and sure does make me want to use it instead of the old contaminated jar of flux. Also, go check out Viewly which is the next biggest ad free video platform on the web. I'll also be giving away two fluctuators to whoever shares and gives a thumbs up on this video. Just make sure you have a way to get in contact. I'll be giving these away in a month from now so keep an eye out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.